Hello and welcome to Physics Fundamentals. I'm Angie, your host. And today we're going to look at the physics and fun facts of slinkies. This springy toy has entertained kids, adults, and everyone in between for decades. But have you ever thought of who invented it or how it was invented? Well, in 1943, a naval engineer, Richard James, stumbled upon this invention when he bumped the spring and noticed its curious behavior. This inspired him to create the Slinky. But it's not just a toy. In the 60s, U.S. soldiers used Slinky as a mobile radio antenna. And also, NASA used it for zero gravity experiments in space. Here's some final fun facts. It is the official toy in Pennsylvania and also is inducted in the National Toy Hall of Fame and the Centuries of Toys list. I got a question for you. What's the longest jingle in advertising history? You guessed it, the Slinky Song. Okay, so now we're gonna go to a question from our friend Olivia. Olivia, what's your question? Hi, my name is Olivia. I go to Harrisburg Elementary School. I'm eight years old. My question is, how does a Slinky go down the stairs? Hmm, I know someone that can answer your question. His name is Jim Vallis. He's a professor and researcher in the physics department here at Brown University. He's passionate about physics education and answering curious questions like yours. Jim? That's an awesome question, Olivia. Let's take a look. Here, I'm gonna set the slinky down here, then I'm gonna tip it over, let it go over it, and look, it starts to fall, and it flings itself over the top, over the top, over the top, down the stairs. What's going on here? How are we gonna understand this? You know what we're gonna need? We're gonna need to talk about forces. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna look at this video that we made of the slinky going down the stairs, and I'm gonna stop it right in the middle. Take a look at it, Livia. We've stopped it, and look at how far apart the different parts of this slinky are at the top. See how one coil is more distant from the other, but if you go to the bottom of it, you see them much closer together. What's really cool about slinkies is that when those coils are far apart, you know they're pulling. And when they're pulling, the slinky's gonna move, and this one's gonna move more at the top than at the bottom. That pulling at the top is gonna to cause it to flip over and fling itself forward while the bottom just goes along for the ride. What do you think of that, Olivia? Can you see how it goes down the stairs now? Oh, I get it, Jim. Is it like another video about a man who drives a slinky? The bottom didn't move to the top came down. How does that happen? Oh, Olivia, that's another awesome question. And what's kind of good about it also is that it's related to how the slinky goes down the stairs, but it's a little bit different. I want you to think about what happens when you pull a shopping cart out at the supermarket. Now remember, you walk into a supermarket and you see carts in a line, one inside the other. And so you go up to it and you grab a hold of one. You need to pull it out. So you just pull, usually it doesn't move out right away. You have to pull a little harder, so you lean back. Wow, that cart is still not coming out. So what do you do? You really yank it and you pull it, and you pull it out, and you go flying backwards. Have you ever felt that, Olivia? At that moment, you found out that the shopping carts were pulling back on you, but you didn't know until you flew backwards. Now, a slinky, you always know when it's pulling back. If you pull on a slinky, you see the different coils separate, get farther and farther apart as you pull on it. That way you can see that it's going to pull back on you and pull itself together later. Why don't we take a look at a slinky pulling? And to do that, I'm going to hang it. But I want to make it really clear what's going on, so I'm going to get a special background that will allow us to see it a little bit better. Here, this nice black background. Now I'm going to hang the slinky. You see it, Olivia? It kind of gyrates a little bit. What I want you to see the most 
is that the coils at the top are farther apart than the coils at the bottom. The coils at the top are pulling to keep the bottom off the floor. Now the coils get closer together as you go down. Each coil up here is supporting the coil down there. There's less here, so they don't pull as much. Look at it pull. And you know what? It's pulling on my hand the whole time. My shoulder's getting a little bit tired. Now I want to drop it. But that's what you asked about. So why don't we drop it? Are you ready? One, two, three. What did you see? You know what? We're going to go to slow motion so that you can see it all happen and then we can talk about what it is you see. Wow. It looks like the top got pulled down to the bottom before it fell to the floor. But I think that makes sense. The top went first. It was getting pulled down the most. Those coils were the farthest apart. They raced down to the bottom, and once they'd all pulled together, it fell to the floor. There was no pull left in the slinky. It just fell. I hope I explained that well. Thanks for your questions. Thank you, Jim, and thank you for watching. If you have any science questions, please email us at physicsfundamentals at gmail.com. Bye for now.